it's friday i am so happy it is friday um i am on my first break and i'm actually about to order um a low carb burrito bowl again y'all i need to stop ordering out so much because this money that i'm spending i could be saving it for my backyard okay i'll stop after this one Anyway, did I say it is Friday? Hold on, let me leave them a tip. Hold on one second. I keep sounding like someone's coming up to my door. They better not. Y'all know how I feel about that. I actually have some credits because the last time I ordered, um, a lot of things was missing. And then Savannah's vegan bowl that she had, had meat in it. I don't get it. Anyway, so I only had to spend seven dollars for my meal. Alrighty. So I'm trying to time it that way it can be here when I go on lunch. So yeah, how y'all doing? I'm so excited because I think I told you guys in the video before. Next two weeks I will be working completely at home because we are going to be transferring over to a different system. The managers have to learn the system first. So because we don't have our space built yet, we have to, some of us has to stay home. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Gonna save on gas and I'd rather work home anyway. I can do the same thing at home that I do at work. But I think next Thursday, <clears throat> I will go in and pick up some checks that I have to post and I'm posting a bunch right now so um, we get new checks every week that we have to post and so I'll do that and nothing much is happening today after I get off work I have a few errands to run I made DoorDash a little bit because I already told you guys I'm trying to get my backyard cemented so I need to save money for that and that's about it. No real plans. I think go to the movies. What is out? There's something that I wanted to see. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. Anyway, when I'm at work, either listen to music, but most times I have a YouTube video playing or a true crime story time on YouTube. Something that I don't have to actually look at that I can just, you know, hear while I'm doing my work. So I'm one of those weird people and my brother laughs at me my youngest brother and he's like how can you watch those shows and don't they get to you yes they do they get to me but I find them so interesting and so intriguing and he sent me a TikTok of it was a man acting like his wife he's hearing on the TV they're saying that you know how they what they did to the body and how horrible and graphic it was and the wife just sitting there eating popcorn like not even phasing her and that's me yeah, kind of sad, but that's me. I love true crime videos, the shows, Investigation Discovery Channel, one of my faves. Yes, I love that. So, do you guys like that too? Or am I just the weird, one of the weird ones who like that type of gore and stuff? I mean, I don't like seeing it, but I don't know. Yeah, so. Alright, let me... Alright, so I'm on break. Ignore that. I have to clean my shirt up. Sometimes, y'all, I eat like a toddler and spill everything. Anyway, I didn't even show you guys my lunch. I went on lunch, it came like 10 minutes before, and I'm still on lunch. It was a salad with shrimp, and it was so good. Anyway, I got a package in the mail today from my friend Anna, and she's the one who we had dinner with when we went to LA the last time, but she didn't want to be on camera, and so she sent me something, so I went ahead and cut it open, so Anna, you will get my first reaction, but I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to give away any addresses, so hold on, let's keep it like this. Oh, she's so sweet, it said, Happy Mother's Day, Michelle. <laughs> Let me open up the card. Gotta watch the time. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. You're a great friend and amazing mom. Oh, thank you. And she put a message in here. Let me just read it. Oh, 
Well, the actual card says there are so many reasons why I admire you and think of you as a real blessing in my life. Happy Mother's Day. And then she wrote a message in here, but I'll just say that because that's the message to me. Oh my goodness. Girl, she knows me. So, some Starbucks vanilla K pods. Oh yeah. Okay, so you know I love some Michael Kors, right? Y'all, look at this. Look at this. This is super cute. I'm taking this out because I am using this today. This is super cute. Thank you so much. Let me put this to the side. Still trying to watch the time because it's almost time to clock back in. And then a water bottle, so cute. Oh my goodness. Now I can use this one specifically for when I go into the office or not, or just traveling or anytime. And then, okay, making sure I don't show any addresses. Then she put in, y'all, y'all see me doing this? I got the old lady like, Quit trying to look at stuff. Let me put the box down because I'm afraid I'm going to get the address in there. And so this right here is just nail polish. And then an eyebrow tweezer so just in a little bag right there a little pink eyeball eyebrow tweezer oh my goodness anna thank you so much you did not have to do this girl she is so sweet and i love everything matter of fact coffee right now yep thank you so much i really appreciate this okay Coffee time. Y'all thought I was joking. I am not. I do not play with my coffee. Ooh, y'all, Melissa, I almost did not put a cup there. Oh, that is actually one of my fears that I am going to forget to put a coffee cup under there. If you guys are have seen one of Melissa's vlogs where she made her coffee and she was talking to us and then it was spilling in the background. I laugh because I know that's something I would do and I almost just did it. That would not have been good. I don't think I showed you guys the front of the card. I was just so excited to open it and read it. So it has flowers on it and it says, you're a great friend and an amazing mom. So Savannah and I are in the movies and we are about to see even though we're about to see what is it Savannah? I kind of want a different a spiral. You want to get something different? I want to have options. Oh well go get something else. Yeah. We're in the second row. Y'all see the time? It is 5 20 a.m. and I'm doing overtime. I started at 4 this morning and because I just don't want to work all day but I want to do overtime so yeah I'm doing overtime today. I'm so tired, you guys. It is Saturday, 7.15 right now, taking a 10 minute break. Um, it's funny because overtime, when it's not mandatory, it's like I wanna give up in the middle of it, but I'm not going to, because I'm only doing five hours today. And I could do five hours straight. So I'm going until nine. I started at four. Yeah, so I'll be done at 9. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm just tired, but um, overtime is good. I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm so tired. Anyway, the movie was really good last night. Oh, my goodness, let me tell you guys. It was like part of the Saw movies and definitely not for kids. If you like gore and all that stuff, that's definitely what they have in it if you don't like it don't watch it but the movie started out in soft fashion I'm trying to give any spoilers away but um yeah it was very gory but good so i recommend it if you like 
the Saw movies and all that stuff. So Chris Rock did an amazing job. Usually he plays like in comedic roles, comedy roles, whatever you want to call it. And he did have some funny things in here, in there that he did, but it was mainly a serious role. So yeah, I recommend you guys go see it if you like the Saw movies. I think I need some coffee to get me through these next, well, the next, what, hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, let me go make some coffee. Okay. Yes, I look like this. I just took my hoodie off that I usually wear when I'm working because it's cold or in the house, whatever, I don't know. Um, it's nine o'clock. My overtime is done. I don't think I'm going to do overtime next Saturday. I'm actually going to maybe do a little bit each day that way I won't have to do it on Saturday and over time for the most part it's not mandatory unless we get a huge project we have to work on which has not happened in a long time but right now it's optional but we can only do so many hours of overtime per week so it's available to me so you know I should take advantage of it and it's extra money so yeah, and plus I had some work that I needed to catch up on today. And the good thing about working overtime on Saturday is I don't have to deal with the stress of, not really stress, but when we're not in the office, we have a thing called the G chat, Google chat, I guess is what it is, whatever. And everyone's messaging in there, asking everybody questions. The manager's asking us, you know, about certain things, but when we do the overtime on Saturday, I don't have to worry about that. So I didn't have to worry about listening, you know, did they message me or what do they need or have to go look into or whatever. I was able to post all my checks. So I'm done with that for this week. I'll get more next week. So yeah, and I am just probably about to fall asleep. I'm watching Those Who Wish Me Dead, Those Who Want Me Dead, something like that with Angelina Jolie and forgot the other guy's name yeah and I made DoorDash later because I'm serious you guys about getting my backyard done so I don't know I'm tired I'm rambling I'm just gonna go lay down well I'm gonna be here I'm gonna fall asleep okay I'm so I'm on lunch break right now and I'm about to do the dishes I used to be so anal at night about the dishes have to be done before I go to bed and most of the time I still Okay, I say about 50% of the time, let me not lie. 50% <laughs> of the time, I make sure they're done before I go to bed. But there are some times that I'm just like, you know what, we're tired. The girls have gone to bed already. And I'm like, nope, it could wait until morning. And this was one of those times. It's actually not that bad. It's just a lot of big stuff from dinner last night. So I'm just going to do the dishes right now. Okay, dishes are all done. They're going in the dishwasher. And these are just things that we do not put in the dishwasher. And I have to keep this over like this because it doesn't stand up straight. Um, I probably could have put this in the dishwasher. This is just a new toothbrush case holder that I got for traveling because my other one was pretty old and worn looking. And Cheyenne's water. This is so cute you guys. So you know how people put stickers on their water cups Like I said, this one's Cheyenne's and it just says black girl magic and I don't know what that's from but it looks like Medusa to me She's in love with Drake. So that's that um, Her astrology sign is a Leo. So I'm assuming that's the reason why Leo the lion is there Winchester mystery house the birds are so loud and um, that's from the office and she likes is this what show is that um i was gonna say mork and mindy but that is not the show um i can't even think of the name of the show right now but she likes this show right here and then when we went to santa cruz so oh, and then she has hearts on it i usually let her wash this because I don't want to be responsible if the stickers come off, but I wanted to clean the kitchen. So yeah, and I'm just going to put my toaster away. And yes, I'm one of the ones who do not keep the toaster on the counter. Bird scared me so much this morning. So I don't know if I told you guys or I probably did. When the kids were younger, we had canaries, right? We had two of them. And actually we had a total of four. 
and they all four died and I'm here working and I hear this big old thunk at the bottom of the cage and my mind went to okay one of them fell off the perch and they're dead oh no what did I do this time why are these birds dead and so then I went over there and it was their water thing their water holder I guess one of them knocked it down it was empty so I filled that up and this is not the first time they did this so apparently when they want water and if it's not filled up they are going to knock it down and I do fill it up every day but um, I guess it wasn't quick enough for them so yeah but when the kids were younger and the canaries that we had I had just got new pots at the time and the shop that we got them from said that it could be something in the pots that's toxic to the birds which I didn't know that so there could be a lot of things that factored into that so after that we didn't get birds anymore because I'm like well something in my house is killing them because we fed them we had water for them we covered them in at night I know that's not essential but that's just if you want you know to tell them it's time to go to sleep as far as I know so we took care of them um, well, I took care of them because the kids were younger, but I don't know, just something in my house. Like I said, maybe it was the smell of the pots that, you know, killed them. So we didn't get any more. Yeah, we've had them, I've had them a week now. Well, since the day before Mother's Day. So, so far they're thriving. <laughs> okay, so it is after work. What do you mean because it's so bright? Because um, your glasses. And Savannah and I are just out door dashing for a little bit. We've already been door dashing. And now we're just at one of the hot spots to try to get an order. Sometimes on Mondays, it's kind of slow. So if we don't get an order pretty soon, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, we've been doing it for about wait, five, six, seven, two, a couple hours. So that's all we're doing now nothing much at all just excited about our trip next week and we get our second COVID shot next week I'm nervous about that but I will try to vlog the whole day so let you guys know how I'm feeling how everything went and yeah ready just to get it in my system so I can go back to kind of halfway normal is it when you're outside we're not gonna have to have our mask on is that what it is some indoor places some indoor places if you're fully vaccinated but then yeah. what's to stop the people who will lie about it to say they're fully vaccinated I don't know okay so I know I showed you guys this before so it's probably redundant <laughs> but this is what I got when we went to Melrose Trading Post in LA and the girl that I got it from I actually follow her on Instagram and it is Prana by Lana. I don't know, she is vegan and she does this whole line of vegan candles and other stuff, whatever. This was the eucalyptus candle that I got last time we went to LA, right? And it smells wonderful, I absolutely love it. But the only thing that I have an issue with is, okay, I love the wick, it's a wood wick, but this is all that it burns. So once the, candle it's burned you know I feel like there's still so much more candle that can be burned so she actually does custom orders I got her to put an extra wick in there so we are picking it up next month she's making a custom one for me a little bit bigger and yeah she puts like little rocks crystals whatever you want to call them in there but I'm gonna throw this away now it'll smell so good that's why I hate to throw it away because I feel like this should be squished I don't know I just want to get the most for my money but anyway yeah I'm gonna throw this away and I'm picking up another one from her actually in a couple weeks a minute and a half left to go and I can clock out and then I'm gonna run a few errands and yeah I don't even think I opened up the vlog today yeah well, today is Tuesday and I'm about to finish work. I was sitting here earlier, you guys, and we heard something like fall, like something fell off the wall. And I jumped up and I went to Cheyenne's room because it sounded like it was something that was in there. And then I looked around and thought maybe my shot glass holder fell, one of my pictures over there. I couldn't find anything. So Savannah came in and she was like, oh, it's up there. And I'll show you guys where it fell up on 
you guys can't see it because I fell down. I have to get a ladder and get up there and put it back on, but it's my sign that says grateful, thankful, and blessed or something like that. And I didn't put it in with like a nail. I used, what are those things? I was about to say push pins. I did not use push pins. I use um, command strips. So maybe I didn't use enough and it fell down. Scared the living daylights out of me. I don't know, I just thought something, I don't know, it was just a weird noise, but yeah, that was awesome. So I will fix that later whenever I feel like bringing the ladder from in the garage and getting up there and doing it, okay. Cook out. All right. I did one hour of overtime today. And that's us usually how I should do it. That way I can get all my overtime hours in. But when I'm at work, like actually in the building, I don't want to do overtime because I want to go home. So it's easier to do when I am here. Did I? All right. So it's a two-step process to log in and a process to log out. So, I mean, I can log out, but I mean, like, to log out of remote. So let me do that. Disconnect. Quit. Disconnect. You ready? Can you shut down the yeah. stuff on the ground, please? Yeah, we're in a different car wash, and Savannah is completely enjoying this. Oh my goodness, look at the colors. I'm kind of scared because I'm not in control of anything, you guys. It smells good, huh? The car is in neutral, my foot is off the brake, and I don't know what's going on because we can't see out the window. Oh my god, do you guys hear her? This is cool. I really feel out of control. And there's a there's gonna be a ring too. Yeah. When do I put my foot on the brake? Oh my gosh. Now I see why people crash. Because I didn't know you have to put your foot off the brake. I mean that you go that. Woo, y'all. It is hot in here. Let me mute my TV. Um, Y'all hear the big wind tunnel fan. I look washed out. I really do. Let me fix this lighting. Okay, that's better. Anyway, so Savannah and I, she's in her room right now because she made a purchase with her own money. And she's actually been talking about this for a while. So I don't think she's going to be interested in it and then just let it go after a while because she spent her own money on it her own hard-earned working money she did so she bought an electric guitar and an amp and the cord and not nothing too expensive because she's just starting out to play but she's been wanting to play now for a couple years so yeah she got it and she's actually in her room right now you know looking at YouTube videos to try to teach her. And I don't know if she's going to try to get a teacher. I don't know. But anyway, while we were there, I brought my violin that I never played. I used to play when I was a kid, but I bought one. And y'all OGs that have been here from the beginning, a few of you guys, if you guys remember, my very first blog was called Vacuums and Violins. Don't go look for it. but. <laughs> it was very poor quality it was a horrible camera but anyway uh, and I got this violin well apparently I got a vacuum cleaner that day to a new vacuum cleaner um, yeah but the violin that I have I never got it tuned it I finally got it tuned today and so I am going to start playing again I know I said that before but now that it's tuned they do it for free because he said it doesn't take very much you know to do it and he showed me how to do it on my own so you know I could do that but yeah I got my vacuum my vacuum cleaner I was about to say I got my vacuum cleaner tuned I don't think that's a thing but I got my violin tuned so I will show you guys and the bot hold on my battery's flashing and every time it does it I know I have a little time but it freaks me out so hold on so here I was about to say vacuum cleaner again this is definitely not a vacuum cleaner anyway this is my violin and I know it's kind of small it's actually for a child but 
at the time I bought this from someone off Facebook market and she just wanted to get rid of it because her kid wasn't into it anymore so I'm like you know what I will take it and then that way <laughs> if I ever I know I'm talking big things and I haven't did it yet but if I ever you know do get really good then I'll upgrade this is the oh my god vacuum cleaner is on the brain because I keep wanting to say vacuum cleaner so anyway this is it it's tuned sounds a whole lot better than what it did before and I just picked up some rosin yeah you guys and I will show you guys um, Savannah's guitar a little bit later y'all look at this these birds are so messy and I knew that before I got them but my other ones that I had when the kids were younger they were not this messy how does the food get from here to way out here yeah messy birds all right, so I got my ladder and I did get the sign that I had up there. And apparently I did not put enough of strong command strips on it. It's upside down. And it just says grateful, thankful, and blessed. And I did get this from Hobby Lobby and I painted it because it was like wood brown. I painted it to match the inside of my well, duds on the inside of my house, but my dining room. So I'm just going to put some stronger command strips on there and hope for the best. Okay, so I probably put too much on, but rather safe than sorry. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything if it falls again, but I just don't like getting up there. Maybe I'll put another one right there. Okay, you guys, one thing about me, and I think I told you guys this before, I am afraid of heights. I love scary rides and stuff like that. So I don't know, I don't know, I can't explain it, but getting on a ladder terrifies me. <sighs> I thought I was done with doing this, but okay. And my son is not here to help me because he's usually the one who helps me do stuff up high. And he had to go and get married and have a kid and have a family and have his own life. <laughs> Help me. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's crooked. It's not centered. I'm so terrified up there. That's the second time I fixed it and it's still off center. So maybe I'll try one more time and then that's just gonna be it. Okay, that's better than it was before, but it's still off centered. And I have a feeling it's going to fall again because when I pressed it, you heard some of the tape coming off of the wall so if it falls again I'm just gonna wait till Tyreek comes over and have him help me with it because that was terrifying I wanted to vlog it but I would have had to get on the ladder put the camera over there so you guys can see but then that means I would have had to get on the ladder multiple times so Savannah got an electric guitar like I told you guys and the cord and the amp right there and this is just a starter guitar it's Really nice, you guys. It's brand new, dude. Yeah, it wasn't that expensive. Show them what you learned so far. No, I'm gonna no? mess up. <laughs> it's not as bad this morning. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but they didn't do too much damage today. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. And yes, I am freezing out here. It's so cold. And I have my, well, it's not my heater. It's Savannah's heater that I borrowed from her. Um, I have that out here on my feet. And I made my second cup of coffee because I needed it. I was so tired this morning. I'm gonna start taking my iron pills every day again. So long story short, I got the Mirena not for birth control, but for um, lessening of my monthlies, TMI, sorry, because I am a heavy bleeder. So anyway, I got that and that made it all better. So my numbers went up as far as um, hemoglobin, is that what it is? I don't know. And my doctor <clears throat> told me that I don't have to take the iron pills every day anymore. Take it every other day or every third day something like that so that's what I have been doing because 
I'm like, okay, well, I'm not losing blood like I used to. I'm so tired now. And I noticed that when I take my iron pills, I feel a whole lot better. So I'm just gonna start taking them daily again because I have been exhausted lately. I don't know, maybe get another blood test done, make sure my levels are where they should be and whatever, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I know when I take my iron pills, I feel better. So I'm just gonna start taking them on a daily again. Self-diagnose, I know, but it's vitamins, not like it's nothing major, so yeah. That's all, and just taking a little break from work for the moment. Y'all, it is so windy outside. I do not know where this wind has come from, but look, it blew my rug over there. And I'm just gonna leave it right where it is because the minute I put it back, it's going to flip up again. And that is the rug that I had here originally, but I'm just going to wash that and then um, put it away because there's no point in that being out there. But yeah, it's very windy outside today. Actually, for the last few days, it's been windy. So I just got off a like a phone call meeting with my manager and I'm so excited. So I think it's on this vlog that we were having a team meeting and the boss said that we're all required to report back to the office um, permanently June 1st. I always think someone's coming up my walk. I do have my door open. Anyway, um, but most people are, but because our department is so huge, not everyone could fit in there. So we are not required. We are still going to do what we've been doing, going to the office two or one day a week, and then working the rest from home until July or August. And I'm hoping it's even further now. They did say the space that we have for us is basically, they're still doing construction. So plastic still laid down, I think, she said they knocked down a few walls, but it's in no position to accommodate us. So I'm happy I get to work at home longer. I mean, I know I told you guys I knew this day was coming that we're going to have to go back to the office. But I'm trying to enjoy every moment at home and I am on break. So that's the reason why I'm talking so long. But what am I saying? I want to enjoy every moment at home. And I think I said this before, I feel that I am more productive at home because I don't have all the distractions and I'm in the zone. And sometimes I'll have music playing or most of the time I will have like a story time on or something on where I don't have to watch the screen because I do have my iPad right here um, where I don't have to watch the screen where I can just hear what they're saying or either I'll have music playing. So I don't know. And then in the office is different. It's like completely silent. The only thing you hear is the hum of the heater or the air. So I don't know. It's just I feel more productive at home. So yeah, you guys, we don't have to go back yet. Yet we will have to. Just not now. But today I was going to DoorDash for a little bit, but I decided not to because I need to finish cleaning my room. My room is big, you guys. Um, I mean, it's not as big as some master suites or whatever, but it's pretty big. So last night I just cleaned the area where my bed is and I folded clothes and put them away. And now today I'm going to do the bathroom area. And then I got a pack because next week we are going to um, L.A. to see my mom. And she's fully vaccinated and we get our second shot on Wednesday and we're gonna leave Friday so I don't know if you guys heard that but that's like the G chat messages that we can actually type in with each other and my boss is typing right now she just asked us this question anyhow Anyway, I'm on break, so I'm not answering. Um, what am I saying? Yeah, we get our second COVID shot on Wednesday, which I'm nervous about, but I'm excited because I just want to get it in my system and so I can be vaccinated. Uh, 
you just ask me this? She asked us a question in the chat and then when we got on the phone call meeting, she asked us the question then and now she just typed it in and asked it again. Yeah. Anyway, and she's typing again because you can see the little dots that, you know, someone is in the process of typing. I'm on break. I shouldn't even be at this computer. Anyway, I'm going to go get dressed. Why am I getting dressed if I'm not leaving the house? I don't know. I probably won't get dressed. I'll probably take a shower. Even though I took a shower last night, I'll probably just take a shower on my lunch break. Excuse me. And then I'm rambling. I've been talking for five minutes. Half of this will probably be cut out, knowing me. How long does it take for the vaccine to work? It's okay. I'm on break. I'm not answering. I'm not even looking. Okay, it says that it takes two weeks after vaccination for the body to build immunity against the virus. Um, that means it is possible a person can still get COVID before or just after vaccination and then get sick because the vaccination did not have enough time to provide protection. Okay, so I know the nurses told my mom this. After she got her second one, they told her to isolate and not be around people. I don't know if they told her that because she's older, but the nurse didn't tell us anything. She did say that um, from the first shot, it takes a couple weeks for that to get in your system. And then when you take the second one, like this said, that it takes a couple of weeks before you are able to, I mean, before you are fully protected. Um, now, it does not mean you won't get it, but it just means, just like with the flu shot, if you get the flu shot, it doesn't mean you won't get the flu. It just means if you get it, your symptoms won't be as bad. <laughs> I need to stop looking at this. It just means your symptoms won't be as bad and, you know, it'll be more bearable than if you did not get the shot. So, um, pretty much the same thing with the vaccine. So... They didn't tell us we shouldn't be around people for two weeks. In two days after my shot, we're going to see my mom. So, and we still follow the precautions. Um, we still wear a mask, you know, when we go places. So, yeah, I am just going to hope for the best. And, and by hope for the best, I mean, hopefully I won't get any um, symptoms because they said that if you've had, and I know everyone's body is different, but they said if you have had COVID, then you get more reaction to the first um, injection than the second one. And then if you have not had it, then most people's get, most people's? Most people get symptoms or reaction or whatever on the second injection. So I do not believe I have had COVID so that's the reason why I'm concerned about the second one because we'll see you guys okay don't judge me but I'm about to clean my bathroom it's a mess and I started packing already so that's why that's there and yeah good morning everyone it is Sunday I am up and I am dressed and in about an hour I'm going to leave the house oh this air feels so good it's probably gonna be hot later though we have a church member who has this huge land and we've been to their house before when they first bought the house they're in the process of like remodeling it was a fixer upper so we there's a lot of shade there so today because you guys know we have been having church on zoom well today they opened up their home well the saturday home at the yard i don't know whatever for us to have a mini church service and like a potluck and it's outside and everything is set up, um, well, supposed to be set up where we can social distance. So yeah, that'll be great. And I did make something, some dessert. I made it before a long time ago for the church, but it's called the Italian no-bake cake. So it's in the refrigerator. I'll show you guys before I um, take it over there. Um, I just got to add the cherries on, but I didn't want to add it last night because I didn't want the cherries to stain it. So yeah, it's actually really good, and there's no making it at all, and it's called a cake, but it's really good. It has pineapple, lime, condensed milk, what else? <laughs> Vanilla wafers, whipped cream, 
coconut and then you top it with cherry so yeah it's actually pretty good i probably won't be having none of that today i'll be sticking to my low carb thing so yeah um that's all that's going on today and i probably won't vlog a whole lot so if i don't you know i probably won't vlog at all actually so so this is it right here i know nothing much to it can't really show you guys and then i'm just going to top it with cherries um, a little bit later so i know this is a bad place for you guys to see my outfit but this is what i got last summer when we were in lockdown from sheen shine i don't know anyway and i did like a shine plus size haul so this is one of the dresses that i got and i also have my little sandals that you guys i don't know if you guys can see that but i spilled lotion on and i'm trying to get it off by using water so it won't be stained but yeah and it's like a high low dress it's super cute i know really bad angle but this is what i'm wearing today and then i have just a little white shirt on underneath for modesty because it just opens up all like that so okay now it's time to put the cherries on the dessert and yes my hands are washed don't need that much just enough to make it look pretty just gotta space them out Okay. So you guys, you know, remember how I told you that I have to wear my readers sometimes and even when I have my contacts in, I have to wear my readers because my contacts are for distance. Well, my readers broke. Yeah, there's a, so, and I'm tired of putting it back in. I've been doing it all day. <laughs> So I'm just going to grab another pair from Walmart. Luckily with readers, because they're not prescription, and these are the lowest prescription for readers. So I can just grab another one of these. It was like five bucks came in this little zebra case. So I think it broke because I've had it a long time. And plus the bag that I take to work when I get to work and when I get home, I just toss it down. So I need to be a little bit more careful um, how I handle my glasses. That way it won't break. So yeah, just waiting so I can clock out and be done. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm gonna do what I have to do and come back home and relax. Yep, have nothing else planned. go to sleep right now here at the last stop um, Savannah was actually driving and this poor child she cannot park to save her life and I think I had trouble parking also when I was learning how to drive so it's it's just funny to me because I mean she'll get it she just needs to do it more but she swings in so fast and I'm scared of her hitting other cars so that's the reason why we park like in the boonies when she drives so yeah um, what do we do we went to Walmart and I didn't vlog when we were out because I was just trying to hurry up because I'm really tired you guys I want to go home went to Walmart went to she had to drop something off at UPS um, and then where else went to Loving Hut because Loving Hut is a vegan restaurant so we're having some vegan food for dinner and now we're here at Best Buy so yeah when she parked the car she parked actually like here's the line she parked like this on the line I'm like don't worry about it just get out and you know I just backed in because I'm in the shade and yeah I'm really tired you guys I just want to go home but she is here because she's getting another battery for her camera that way she can have a backup when we go to LA this weekend. So I got some new readers and I just got the lowest prescription. But yeah, I got that. I think these were about seven bucks, so not too expensive. And this is what we got for dinner, rice, and it's called a sizzling tofu plate and it's sweet and sour tofu. Okay, so it's much later. 
um, Savannah and I watched Army of the Dead. I think that's what it's called, a Netflix. And I fell asleep on some of it, but I didn't want to rewind it. You know, I pretty much got the gist of it. But I'm not into zombie movies and shows and whatever. I know I did watch um, The Walking Dead. Yeah, I <laughs> totally forgot. I spaced on the name. I know I watched The Walking Dead for a while. And that was good because it was mainly centered on... I'm going to show you. No, you don't. She's being silly. Anyway, it was mainly centered on like their lives. And of course, they had to survive the zombies and all that. But I'm usually not a zombie movie person that I like to watch them. It made no sense, but y'all know what I'm saying. But Army of the Dead was actually good. So, yeah, what are you doing, Savannah? Hmm, I'm tired. No, I'm tired. I'm so sleepy. What? Look what I picked up at the grocery store. I got this from Winco and Carol. Look, if you're watching this, it's all about I Love Lucy. Like the whole book, not just a portion of the page. My friend Carol, she likes I Love Lucy just as much as I do. So yeah, I haven't started reading it yet. But yeah, the whole magazine, it's about her. I can't wait to read it. And yeah, I love this. Okay, you guys, what time is it? 9.20. I'm tired. I'm about to jump in the shower and go to bed because, yeah, because I'm just extremely tired. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>